Hi there, we are here to tell you once again about or concerning some uh, careless push that might occur wherever, maybe on the streets or somewhere around, you know, even at home. So we want you to stay tuned and really follow up how to defend yourself against some careless pushes. Alright, at least first timers, please, I want to remind you to subscribe and hit the bell and also we are waiting for your comments. Okay, now these are some kind of careless pushes that you might be expecting or it might come expected or unaware. Okay, now you try to throw any kind of push. There was a strike that came before that push landed. If you are sharp enough to see it, now come slowly again. It goes bam. That was what happened. Because you notice the punch immediately, uh, the, uh, the push immediately. The moment he's coming forward for that, you go bam. That's what happens. The strike goes here. But the strike bam. This is the strike. One hand here, one hand here. This one is just to support here, but the actual strike is here. That was this one. You don't even need to do any other thing from here. If you understand what you've just done here, you don't need to do any other thing from here. This thing you've done can break his neck, dislocate, in fact, destroy his mouth entirely and the neck. Because he never expected this. He just walked into it and then boom. So you then it except you want to kill this person, then you, you add this and finish him, but just this is okay. He goes. Alright. It's as swift and as fast as what you just saw. Let's take that again. He comes in. Boom. That is it. You move, you advance in while it's advancing in. Alright. That is it. So you don't move back. Now he tries to come. You move. No. You're giving him the room to stay coming. Now, but you can still do it that the other way. That's a, 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 a second way. By even step back and still take that. Now go. Mm. This is another way. This time around, you're not coming in shoulder for shoulder like the first one. This time, you slant your shoulder. Go. Boom. That is it. You slant and then strike this way. Oh, if you can't understand this first one, you'll be able to understand this one. It's easy. Alright, just need to understand the move that is coming and a swift counter reaction. Okay? Now the second one, you come again with the same pushing pattern. And I do this. Okay, now doing that, I want to finish him. I just want to let him go. He comes, I go. One, and I move out. Okay, but let me not allow him go. Let me finish him. So I won't allow him to move out. Now ready. He comes again. Go. Boom. Boom. Let me show clearly where I gave the punch. Now go. One. <clears throat> this is it. Yes. Very dangerous. Okay. So. That is number two. Let's still work on that same. We have various ways to to deal with that same pushing pattern. Now come again with that same pushing pattern. Go. You see this? Can you finish? Now that was fast. Let me make it slow. Now go. No, strike, come with your push. You see this? I go here one. Then I turn here. I take it again for more emphasis. Come with the same pushing pattern. I go one. I convert. Okay. 
all right from there is at your mercy you can land whatever you want to land okay now let's work it with speed now go Bam. boom you have to be very fast and calculative this is how it goes you cross your hand go you cross your hand then convert immediately with that I throw him down to punch okay now let's take one more on that same pushing pattern before we change come up with that same pushing pattern go punch. Now come again, I move, I punch, and with the punching, I can see back. Mm. Match. Alright. Now ready. Now go. Back. Mm. back down. Boom. There again. Boom. There again. Boom. There again. As many as you want. Okay? Alright, let's take it slowly. But I say, I want to lay this emphasis. If you understand as well, first of all, you must understand your technique and the technique you're doing or executing at a point. There are some techniques you will do and you don't need to add more. But if you happen to use any technique which you are not very convinced that that technique can drop that person down for the next five minutes or thereabouts then you can add more to satisfy your curiosity but if you know that you have dropped just one technique that in the next five minutes this person will not regain why wasting your energy and time to add more so you just leave him there okay now let's take that should be the probably the last one on last but not the least on that same pushing pattern okay now the same pushing pattern now let's go this is what comes with this now this is how it goes moving again i step back now the stepping back i raise this hand because I don't want, I want to break this hand from here. And breaking it is I push in with this. And I strike down. Do we get that? That's more deadly. Yes. Now come again. I break through and I strike this. So you can't do this do this and you strike down here and you think this person can can regain in the next five minutes no it's impossible except of course you don't understand the technique you're doing and you don't know exactly where you're striking now for emphasis this is the point of strike almost on the shoulder blade you cannot have not really hit the strike but if you ask him he will tell you how he's feeling right now how much more when i strike that it sinks him down immediately right there then if you still want to add more waste your energy to add more no problem but i still say you understand the technique you've applied and you, you understand the effect of it you just kill it there wait to see if we can recover in the next five minutes Cause not. now let's see another pushing technique that you can apply maybe by one hand push okay now you try the one hand push all right good now he comes carelessly like that with a push 
Now go with them with the fish. Boom! Ow. Now come again. I move one. And I strike here. I hope that strike didn't enter high because I might touch. Yeah. So, from there, he comes again with that careless. I step back. I step and move to the side. This that alone has already made him to lose balance. So immediately he lose. I move. Jump. I strike here. Now striking here. If I do not understand what striking here means and what strike I have given to here, then I will finish striking here. Or except maybe if I did not. I realize, even though I know what this means, maybe I didn't get him well. That's when I would need to waste my energy to follow him up again and add as many other things as I want to. In, in the matter of self-defense, in the matter of self-defense, what we should know that you should always build or cultivate or strike it's just a, an attack, I mean, just an attack, not more than one attack. Except by chance, except by chance or by mistake or omission, you happen to realize that the strike didn't actually penetrate where actually wanted it to penetrate. But for the, for, for if it has to do about if self-defense matter, you don't need to have in mind of striking more in a matter of self-defense and you're playing with your counter then you are not serious so your counter should be very preci precise and devastating and you should also understand the techniques you are applying that's why i said i i i prefer you taking the technique to understand and to the point that you know will give you what you are looking for so it leaves you with no room for looking for more other things to do to to the or to the opponent or to the attacker so just one is one like what i just did take that again that one hand i step out and i strike this boom here this strike here if this guy can recover from here then the strike was not hard enough but if it is hard enough and me striking it you as a professional strike giving this strike should understand what you have done then if you're not convinced that you strike enough maybe by the time he's staggering you can follow up and even see at more or take the punch to this point and this is another dangerous point if he goes here and you add here then forget about it he's gone okay all right um let's let's there for today We'll come your way once again to give you more of the pushing uh, skills how to defend yourself from any any kind of careless push all right please i want to still remind us first timers to always remember when as you're waiting for your comment subscribe hit the bell and like the page thank you